guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing some new lip glosses and this is from LA Girl. And I wanna apologize if I say the name incorrectly because I couldn't figure it out, you guys. And this is the LA Girl Lumalicious lip glosses, if I'm right. <laughs> they came out with 10 different shades. They run for $5.99. That's honestly what grabbed my attention because they're super affordable. And they came out with like so many really pretty new lip shades, so I couldn't help myself. I picked up what I feel is like the perfect everyday type of lip colors. We're gonna be trying them on. We're gonna see what is the application like. Pigmentation is essentially actually worth picking up. They're supposed to be non-sticky, super pigmented with a high shine, nourishing on the lips, a dofa applicator, and and vegan and cruelty free, which you guys know I personally love. It's also supposed to have a vanilla scent, so we're just gonna see what the scent's all about as well. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you decide to subscribe and be part of the Kit Kat fam. And as always, let's jump on in and try them out. Okay, guys, well, let's start off with the packaging really quickly because it's really simple. There really is a amount, so don't even worry. This is basically an alternate clip of the packaging, but I really like the size of it. I really like the color. I feel like it's true to what the sh color shade that you're receiving inside as for the dofa applicator girl let me tell you the vanilla scent is definitely there I don't find it to be too strong and overpowering so so far I really like that dofa applicator is actually really really nice it has a nice point point tip to it which is perfect if you want to use it to line your lips it's really nice and spongy when I swatch in the back of my hand so I'll let you guys know obviously once I apply it on to get a good feel for it but so far I really like it as for the first shade we're gonna go ahead and apply on it is called peach which i find it to be pretty odd that they call this lip shade peach because to me to be really honest it looks like a taupey nude there's no peachiness to this <laughs> we'll obviously see how it looks on a camera but it's still really a beautiful nude and i really am excited to apply it on because you guys know again i love a good nude lip shade and so far by swatching the back of my hand it looks super pigmented love the high shine that it gives and it definitely feels really nice and moisturizing i'll let you guys know once i apply it on if it has like a tacky texture to it because remember i mentioned on their website that it's supposed to be non-sticky so i'm hoping that it will be non-sticky and really pigmented and really nice on because especially since it's super affordable so i'm really excited so i'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that i currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on peach i'm just going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips and you guys, look how pretty that is. I honestly feel like it looks like my natural skin complexion, but it has a really nice undertone. I feel like it has like a neutral undertone, which I really like. And literally, look how pretty that looks. It has a really nice natural shine. Let me go ahead and finish applying this on, and then I'll give you an up close clip. Peach, oh my God. It's like a little bit of product seriously goes such a long way. I did not find myself having to like dip my dofa applicator trying to build the pigmentation. So, so far, so good. I feel like this would last you such a long time. It honestly feels really moisturizing on my lips and it doesn't feel sticky. I'm surprised how pigmented it is, you guys. Like this literally is giving me like lipstick vibes for sure and i love the undertone it is so pretty i can see myself wearing this and being like my go-to lip shade just because it's so nice perfect for work perfect for every day if you love a nude lip shade i feel like you end up really liking this one it's really nice and i love the high shine that it gives it's really really pretty let's press our lips together and just see if the formula separates in any way because that's like a pet peeve of mine and so far I don't notice that separating, so I'm really excited to see what the others, you know, look on. So let's move on to lip shade number two. Moving on to our second lip shade, this is called Chill. And the best way that I would describe this lip shade would be like a peach nude. If anything, Chill should have been peach, and it Chill and peach should have been Chill. <laughs> and this is basically how it looks because it does have like a peachy, in my opinion undertone to it. I'm not sure it's going to look on camera, but still it's a really beautiful lip shade. If you like undertones like this, I feel like you might end up really liking it. I feel like this is perfect for the fall, like summertime. And I just really like the undertone. It's really, really nice. So far I didn't notice any patchiness or anything like that. No separation in the consistency swatching the back of my hand, especially since this lip shade's a little bit more pigmented than the last. So we'll obviously see how it applies on. So I'm just going to go in and apply on this lip shade. I'm going to start in the center of my lips and again you guys look <laughs> look how pigmented that is it is super pigmented i like the undertone so far not a lip shade that would naturally gravitate towards but still it's really pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this on chill 
surprisingly, I really like it, you guys. Even though it's not a lip shade, like I mentioned you guys before, that I would naturally gravitate towards, I actually really like it alone. I can see myself wearing this lip shade with like a more chocolate brown lip liner just to give a little bit more dimension. I can even see myself wearing this just in the center of my lips with a lip shade that's a little bit darker just to add a little bit more dimension. Again, it feels really hydrating. It doesn't feel sticky. And so far when I press my lips together, the formula doesn't separate. I did try to layer this on as well just to see if the consistency kind of acts a little weird. And so far, I haven't noticed any like funky texture or anything like that. So, so far, it's so good. But again, I love the color. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. Comment down below so far, what do you guys think? So let's move on to lip shade number three. The third lip shade is called DM Me, and I would describe this lip shade as a warm nude lip color, and it is really, really pretty. It's definitely giving me fall, winter vibes, which I'm not mad at. I love warmer lip shades like this. I feel like it has a neutral undertone, and I would pair a lip shade like this with like a more chocolate brown lip shade, very, very lightly, just to kind of give that ombre effect, or just even apply it alone. I think it would look really nice. Perfect day or night type of lip shade. If you love a nude lip color, I feel like this would be perfect. So I'm just gonna go in, and apply on this lip color and look how pretty is that i'm gonna go ahead and press my lips together dm me as expected it is so pretty i'm obsessed with this lip shade you guys it's really really nice so far i really love every single lip shade that i have applied on i feel like it just complements my skin complexion really nicely love the consistency i keep repeating myself but it's true it doesn't feel sticky it feels hydrating and i love the high shine you guys it's really nice a little bit of product goes such a long way. You can easily dilute the pigmentation. If you feel like it's a little bit too pigmented for your liking, but so far, so far, so good, you guys. I love it. I can definitely see myself wearing this alone just to go to work or something, just to apply on a little something on my lips to give me a little bit of that moisture. I feel like this is perfect. So let's move on to lip shade number four. The next lip shade, it is called Pillow Talk. And if you are a makeup lover girl, then this sounds so familiar to you, okay? Because Charlotte Tilbury has a lipstick, I think even a gloss that they came out with that is called Pillow Talk. It is super popular. I have yet to try it and I'm kicking myself right now because I wish I had it at hand so I can quickly do a swatch to see if it's a possible dupe because this gloss is called pillow chalk and I would describe this lip shade as a pink nude it is so pretty it has like finely milled glitter in it I don't think this is gonna something you're gonna notice on camera it's something that you'll notice looking at the packaging or looking at the swatch close up in person but it's so so pretty I feel like it's gonna look so nice on perfect everyday type of lip shade I feel like this will complement so many different skin complexions and I promise you guys I will pick up the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lipstick or gloss and see if this is a dupe because this might be a really good dupe you know what I mean we'll see we'll see I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but I'll let you guys know. But I'm going to go ahead and try on this lip shade. I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips per usual. And look at that, you guys. How pretty is that lip color? I love, I love it so far. It has a really nice neutral undertone. Hello, talk. Beautiful. I love this lip shade. It is so pretty. And that says a lot for someone who's not a big fan of pink nude lip shades, but I actually really like this one. I can definitely see myself wearing it again. I don't feel like you see, you can really see the glitter that's finely milled in there, but it's still really pretty. Love the high shine, the consistency. The scent is really nice. It's not giving me a headache. It's not strong and overpowering. And so far, I really like the undertone, you guys. I feel like it has a neutral undertone. I feel like it's gonna look so pretty on many different skin complexions comment down below Honestly, if I would pair this lip shade with a lip liner, I'd probably pair it with like a nude lip liner I would kind of or maybe something a little taupey just to add a little dimension But so far just alone. It's really really nice I don't feel like you really need a lip liner and the Dofa applicator the fine point It definitely comes in handy when I'm losing it to like clean out the edges and line my lips The last final lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on This is called baddie and I love the sass. I'm always here for a good sass moment and this i would describe this lip shade as a warm like berry nude lip shade it's really really pretty it's definitely giving me fall winter vibes which i really love and i'm really excited to see how it looks on because i feel like out of all the lip shades that i've picked up i feel like this is like the most pigmented one so i'm really excited to see like does it separate when i press my lips together does it apply on patchy like will it be more noticeable on the little imperfections maybe of the formula so I'm very excited. I would pair this gloss with like a chocolate brown lip liner or something very similar to it just because 
because I feel like it definitely gave me like fall vibes. Like this would be perfect if we're gonna go to like a holiday uh, party or event or even like a Christmas event, something like that. So I'm gonna go in and apply on a baddie. I'm gonna go and start in the center of my lips per usual. And look at that, you guys, so pretty. I really like it. And you guys are here on my channel. I'm very particular when it comes to really dark pigmented lip colors, but this one's actually really pretty. Batty, definitely a vibe. I really like it. I layered this on just because I wanted to really get a feel for the formula, but you can obviously do it through the pigmentation if you feel it's like a little too pigmented for your liking. But I layered this on, love the high shine. When I press my lips together, the formula doesn't separate. I'm very impressed, you guys. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel sticky. It feels really moisturizing, but in the best way. And I really like you guys. It feels comfortable on my lips. I love the doe applicator. I definitely use it to line my lips, especially if you don't have a lip liner. I feel like this will go such a long way for you. This is really, really nice. The doe applicator is nice and spongy. The scent again, it's really nice and soft. It's not too strong and overpowering. That's gonna give you like a headache. The consistency is really nice and I love the size of this for $5.99. I definitely feel like this is worth it. If you haven't tried it out and you're baller on a budget, I say try this out. Perfect if you turn out your makeup collection. If you like nudes with a neutral undertone, I feel like you'll end up really liking this as well. And I just think they did a really great job with this collection. Like I'm surprised I haven't tried them out sooner than later. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if you have a lip shade that was your favorite. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you tried any of these glosses out? Comment down below if you have. I'd love to know your thoughts. Share with everyone else on your experience with the formula, on how it wears, everything like that. So this is basically it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. I love you all so, so much. Bye.